Hey everybody, today I'm going to paint 14 different types of fruits and vegetables in a rainbow circle. I'm using my Agave watercolor block from Hanemühle, my White Nights watercolors, and I marked my page to know where the center is, and then I used a compass to create two circles, one inner and one outer circle. And then I started to sketch different types of fruits and vegetables, and I also labeled them because my sketches were pretty rough, so I wouldn't forget which is what. And yes, I labeled them in German because that's my native language. I know that a few people are gonna notice that. And then I started to color everything in and I added so many details to this piece. I spent a total of, I believe it was seven and a half, seven and a half hours so this took quite a while and if you feel inspired to create something like this if you want to add a lot of detail then really take your time and have fun with it but you can also simplify it down obviously and also you can just get inspired to recreate one of these fruits and or vegetables so you don't have to paint all of the ones that I did here I really wanted to create this rainbow circle and and the first one that I started here was spinach and because I wanted this gradient from the cooler to the warmer colors I decided to add different colors to the spinach and give it a little bit of a gradient as well so it's more blue towards the one side and more yellow towards the other side and green in the middle and I kind of evened it out a little bit later on so it all looks a little bit more cohesive like one thing but uh, it has a little bit of a gradient and honestly all of these fruits and vegetables went through a process at first it was more of a loose painting and then I added in more and more details I really got lost with this one I wasn't even planning to spend that much time on this piece but I just had so much fun with it I really enjoyed the process of this painting so I do recommend that you try some Something like this if you feel inspired because fruits and vegetables are always a good idea to paint they're really forgiving if you mess up the proportions or stuff like that it doesn't matter as much so we have a spinach we have some kiwis then I also painted some corn so I painted a few of those uh, fruits and vegetables there's multiple of so obviously we have two kiwis but I only counted one in the 14 different types but in total there's even more and I tried to find one for every color and it was really easy with the yellow and orange tones but obviously it was much harder with the blue tones and other than blueberries and maybe grapes I didn't really find anything that is more on the blue side so I think that the gradient looks much more fluid on the yellow and orange into reds than in the blue section but I really wanted to include the blue section anyways because I wanted to have all of the colors here so it's almost like a little bit of a color wheel but with fruits and uh, since it is more of the warmer tones it's not an accurate color wheel but it is really fun honestly and I am I'm thinking about scanning it and then editing out the background and then I can put it on a different background I don't know I want to put it into my illustration portfolio and one day I would really love to illustrate a cookbook ideally a vegetarian or a vegan cookbook with a lot of vegetables and stuff like that it would be so fun to do a project like that and we will see I just really wanted to do some food illustrations where I really had the ability to do something fun and also take my time even though I could have spent even more time on this piece to be honest at one point I just had to say enough is enough and 
stop with it but yeah it was really enjoyable I love looking at all of the colors you can see that I now started banana so this is the first one then I let the first one dry and in the meantime I started to paint the pear and I was going back and forth a little bit and then later on I added more details to the stuff that was already there. In this case mainly the spinach, everything else already has a lot of details. And now that the first banana is dry I started to add the second one and I added in all of the shadows again. And it was so interesting to paint bananas trying to get them to look a little bit orange because I'm moving more into the orange section next so I want them to have a little bit of orange in them and still look yellow because it's still bananas so I was playing around with that a little bit and I like the way that they turned out in the end they look kind of this golden color and I believe it's pretty close to a color that bananas might have when they're ripe and yeah I added in a few shadows in between the fruits and with the pear I wasn't sure how green or how yellow I wanted it because on the reference that I was looking at it was pretty orange yellowish but then I thought if it isn't green at all it doesn't really look that much uh, like a pear anymore because when you think about a pear you probably think about a green one usually so I wanted a little bit of green in there and I went back and forth because it's not in the green section so I didn't want it to be too green and I I just really played around a lot with all of these colors and I'm pretty happy with the color that the pear ended up being in the end. So it has this green glow but it is mostly this orange color so it's a pretty ripe pear and the kind that is more on the yellow orange side. And then here we have a mango, mango. <laughs> and I think that a mango is a pretty good choice here because it was really easy to create some kind of gradient where it's a little bit more orange on the right side and a little bit more yellow on the left side and that works really well with this fruit because it has these different colors usually so it doesn't look weird that I added in that gradient and also for this painting I was using a bunch of reference pictures so just so I could refer back to them and know the colors and the textures that the fruits have but I'm pretty proud of myself because I changed up the reference pictures a lot to make the pieces fit into this illustration and you really can't tell anymore which reference pictures I use so I'm at this point with my art now where I can look at a reference picture and not completely copy it I can turn it into my own thing and that's really enjoyable because now I can really be more creative and I'm not so tight to using references of course that's much easier when it comes to fruit than something that I don't paint as much like portraits where I would lean much more heavily on a reference picture to get everything right but again with fruits and vegetables you can't really mess up the proportions that much and even if you do it doesn't really matter and here we are now more in the orange to red section we have a pumpkin we have tomatoes and then I painted this red bloody orange I don't know what they're called in English in German they're called blood orange and I think it looks maybe more like grapefruit I think gra grapefruits probably look like that but I'm happy with how it turned out I added a lot of details to that one and obviously we have a melon for the more pinkish section and then we have reddish and then we have beetroot I believe it's called and that's more on the purple side a little bit as well 
And I really played around with those tomatoes as well because I wanted them to have a little bit of a yellow shimmer to them, but still be red, obviously. And so they turned into this orangish red. And I also really loved the way that the blueberries turned out because we have this mix of colors and they're pretty cool toned, but they look somewhat realistic. So I'm pretty happy with that. And because my set doesn't have a purple I really played around with the red and the blue and didn't really mix a purple beforehand I just mixed it on the paper and you can see now I'm adding in more details to the spinach and that was a long process I really wanted the spinach to look much more like actual spinach so you would see it and would hopefully be able to tell what it is at least if you know what spinach looks like you should be able to tell what it what it is it also looks a little bit like basil which also could also fit and also be in there just basil is probably the leaves aren't as long but yeah i like the amount of detail that i ended up with and the reddish looks so three-dimensional in the end i also added in a third reddish but that was more of a finishing detail and yeah, I went back and forth a little bit with the leaves and stuff like that. And you can see that I added more details to the mango and I just added in a little bit more shadows, make everything look a little bit more dimensional. And yeah, I took a lot of breaks in between this piece because it looked, took so long. So every time I went back with fresh eyes, I saw something that I still wanted to add or improve. So this was a whole process. And again, if you want to recreate something similar, really take your time, pick your favorite fruits. I think the only fruit that's on here or vegetable that I don't personally like is actually the grapefruit or bloody orange but every other fruit and vegetable on here is something that I personally like to eat so yeah I, I think that helps with having uh, fun with the peas when you have something that you personally enjoy eating I don't know if you don't like to eat fruit and vegetables then maybe painting some desserts would be more fun for you but I really enjoyed playing around with the colors I struggled a little bit with the greenery because I didn't want the greenery to be too green because it's not in the green section and also not in the yellow section so it really doesn't fit into this section but I think a radish or a turnip of some kind or beetroot it needs the leaves to really look good it looks a little bit weird if there's no greenery at all and also the melon needed it as well so it kind of had to be there I think that the grapes didn't necessarily need the leaves but they just also look much better if they do have leaves so I tried my best to add in pinkish and purple tones to the leaves as well I mean the beetroot leaves they are actually this pinkish tone in the veins they have this color at least on my reference picture so that was kind of already a given but I also added in a little bit of a pink tint tint to the radish leaves that are usually much greener but I just wanted it to fit in the, into the category. I was also going back and forth a little bit with the grapes just trying to get the color right and they also have a little bit of a gradient. The bottom grapes look a little bit more blue and the top grapes look a little bit more red so just like the spinach they have a little bit of a gradient I did the same thing with the corn where the leaves on the left are much more yellow than the ones on the right and I tried to make it subtle enough so it doesn't look weird but it still fits with the gradient and makes sense and that was a real challenge for this piece but in the end it was what made the piece really fun and enjoyable to do So 
So here is the finished creation. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I would love to see your version of this. So tag me on Instagram at visualmindart if you recreate this. If you want to see some more fun and creative painting ideas, then check out this video next. <laughs>